Many of you have asked the question, what is a police constable and what is a police officer? So I thought I would explain that briefly in this video. It's actually relatively simple. A police officer, in fact, all police officers, no matter their rank, are each individually holding the office of constable. And the office of constable is a common law concept derived in case law 1966 in the case of Rice and Connolly. And all police services or police forces, as you might refer to them, have operational independence. And so all police officers slash police constables will be a member of a police force around the country and their duty to protect the public by detecting and preventing crime is derived from this case law. And accordingly, police have both common law and legislative powers, that is powers that arise from acts of parliament, to execute their duty. This includes the power to search, for example. So next, although it might sound obvious, you might ask who has police powers? Well, almost all of police officers have almost all of the relative police powers. Obviously, some powers, notably powers for authorization, which might be to authorize detention, are reserved for officers of higher ranks. Police specials or voluntary police constables, voluntary police officers, they also have the same power as regular paid police officers. Police community support officers and other support officers have certain powers designated to them depending on the function that they support and the position in which they serve. However, civilian police staff do not have any police powers and these staff simply perform administrative functions that don't require those powers. There are, of course, some powers that cannot be designated to a police community support officer or other support officers. They include the power to make an arrest, the power to stop and search an individual or a vehicle, or any police power that's reserved for certain ranks. It might also interest you to know that some people will have police powers without working in a police force. For example, depending on the arrangements in local forces, Section 40 of the Police Reform Act 2002 allows a chief officer to establish a community safety accreditation scheme for their given area. This is typically to tackle low-level crime and antisocial behaviour, for example, the power to issue penalty notices for disorder and fix penalty notices, and the power to require the name and address of those behaving antisocially. People also ask, and I'll be doing lots more videos on this topic, so make sure you like and subscribe this video to receive those new videos. People also ask about the misuse of police powers. Now, ordinarily, the misuse of police powers is not normally a criminal offence, but it would be a failure to uphold the policing standards and professional behaviour of an officer. Sometimes, however, an officer's behaviour might amount to a criminal offence, obviously depending on what they are doing and whether it's an abuse of power or whether it would amount to criminal activity in and of itself. So there are obviously lots of different videos I can do in this area which include powers of arrest, the PACE codes, that's the Police and Criminal Evidence Act, the codes by which the police are to comply, stop and search, entry, search and seizure, and all sorts of other things such as where the police are supposed to investigate with the use of CCTV, such as an email that I've received just today that alleges that the police have ignored certain CCTV footage which provides evidence of what happened, so I will be talking about what happens in those situations as well. But for now, I hope that answers your question as to what a constable means, what a police officer means, so please make sure you like the video and subscribe if you want to receive these future videos, and as always, thank you for watching.